Hello everyone, I'm Jay Fair on air and I am 30 plus and counting the number of facet shots is going to take in order for my back and my hip area to feel better. I was in an accident um, about October of last year and that's about nine months ago and I have had um, lumbar pain, uh, thoracic pain, which is my mid back spine and also my, um, my hip area. So I have been prescribed to have, um, a series of facet shots. And so far I have had five sessions and I'm sitting in my car right now because I just had, um, a set of, um, six shots in my, lumbar my lower back area and um i don't know if anyone of you are any of you have ever had facet shots in your spine area but they uh, make you a little bit dizzy afterwards and um I sat on ice for about 15 minutes but i hate cold weather like I hate cold weather. I hate being cold. So after that 15 minutes, of course, I could have stayed in the um, doctor's office, but I chose to just come and sit in my car until the dizziness wears off. The um, facet shots make my tongue kind of feel numb and it's almost like a, it's like a buzz, almost like a... And if I had too much alcohol and my lips started tingling, that's the feeling that I feel right now. So usually what I have been doing is just sitting in my car for um, a little while after those shots. And then when I start to feel a little bit better, then I'll drive to the Dollar Tree and just walk around the Dollar Tree until I feel um, completely better, like enough to drive. I have to drive um, a couple towns over actually to come and get these shots. So that's why I take my time and give myself the time that I need in order to make the dizziness go off because I don't want to get on the road and have to hurt anyone because I'm dizzy after getting these shots. So, so far I have had a, a five sessions of these shots. I've had them in my um, upper thoracic which is like the mid back area which to me is one of the most painful areas that I have and then I've had them in my lower um, thoracic which is my like my lower back uh, mid area and then I've had them in my lumbar which is my uh, basically it's really your butt area it's your hip and butt area which I've been having pain when I'm walking I, you all know that I'm trying to lose weight so as I'm walking um, I've been trying to do two to three miles but usually that last leg of of my uh, walking is very um, uncomfortable because of that pain in that area so I had shots I had six shots done in that area today and like I said I am uh, a little bit dizzy right now my tongue just feels heavy and weighed down my uh, lips feel um, heavy and weighed down so for any of you who are um, going through the process of getting these facet shots or your um, you have been prescribed to get the facet shots I'll just tell you what my experience has been like the shots in my upper back my thoracic back area um, upper thoracic back area they hurt that that area to me is um, one of my most painful areas those shots in that area of my spine they really did hurt um, to the point where I would make like um, some whimpering noises um, and it really feels like someone is pushing something in your back and then it's spreading out and pushing whatever tissue that is it's pushing that tissue out and you're going to feel a strong painful um, pressure in your back in that area when you get the facet shots now the shots in my uh, lower thoracic they hurt, but they did not hurt as much as the ones in my upper thoracic. And like I said, it's like something's going in your back. If you can imagine um, like a gel 
and it's going in your back and it's spreading out. That's the feeling that I feel when I get the shots. Um, now, the shots in my lumbar, which is my lower back, hip, butt area, those shots hurt so bad. They hurt. Actually, they hurt so bad to where I audibly screamed out like screamed and and cried because those shots hurt so bad in my lower back area. And I'm not sure if it's just because of my pain level or my pain tolerance, but that's how I felt when I got the shots. Um, I had a series of six shots today and um, I don't have I don't have anyone to drive me home. I, I'm by myself. So I have to wait until the medicine wears off, which my solution is to wait in my car for a while until I start to feel better. And then I drive to the Dollar Tree and just walk around so that I could um, so that I can uh, wait until the medicine fully wears off and then I can drive back to the um, city that I live in, which is a couple cities over. Um, if you can, I would suggest you have someone um, go with you to get the shots so that they can drive you home. Um, or if you can Uber or have someone, to, an Uber come and get you, so that you won't have to drive, I would suggest you do that as well. But like I said, because I live a couple cities over, I'm not able to get an Uber to take me to the doctor because it would just be too far and it would cost me too much money. So I just prefer to drive myself and wait until the medication wears off. But I mean, that also gives me a chance to go to the Dollar Tree because this city has one of the largest Dollar Trees that I've ever been to. And I love the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. OK, <laughs> I love the Dollar Tree because who doesn't love cheap things? I mean, I don't know who I don't know who or inexpensive things. I would say that Um or just looking and seeing what they have. It's just fun to me. Even if I don't buy anything, I just like to go and see what they have. So um, now I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree because I'm starting to feel less dizzy. Yeah, I'm starting to feel less dizzy. So, And I'm starting to sweat in my car. I don't have the air on right now because I didn't want the air to mess up, mess with the video. So... That is my experience and I will take you all around the Dollar Tree with me and we can just chill in the air until I'm 100% better to drive home. So I need another um, ice pack for my back and I think this is perfect. I have one that they gave me at the doctor's office but this one I think it's good to have like two so as one is on my back, the other one is um, freezing. These are cute. This one, that's cute as well. They also have these little wedding ones for anyone who is getting married. They have a good wedding selection right now. My cousin just got married, so anything with wedding and it catches my eye right now because I was um, doing a lot of helping her have any of you tried the um, Dollar Tree version of the poopery spray I had the lavender vanilla one and it really does work I was using it until I started making my own at home. But yeah, if you haven't tried it, it's, it works pretty good. And they also have the lemon version as well. So I don't know if you all have tried these before, but I've tried the um, 
I've tried several several of these. These are actually still in the store on sale. I mean, they, they're on sale at Publix for like three something. So, and I know they have a larger size here. So if you're a person who likes sweets and you can eat this, I definitely would say give it a try because they taste good. The one that I had tasted good. I actually ended up putting walnuts in it because I like nuts in my um, cakes and stuff like that. Okay, so I have been on the hunt for some bread molds that I can use to make my keto um, hamburger buns and my keto 90 second bread. And I just found these at the Dollar Tree, if you see, because the 90 second bread, uh, the 90 second keto bread takes the shape of whatever it is that you cook it in in the microwave. And I just found this for a dollar. So I can make my bread in here and it'll have the shape that I want it to have, which is great. So I'm just going to pick up one of these, but I'm actually going to get a little cute one. You see it got Elsa and Anna down here, so I'm thinking I'm going to get them. And then I'm going to get one of these little Paw Patrol ones because if you turn it over, the keto um, bread with, this looks like a bun, right? It will take the shape of this. I'm trying to find the perfect bowl to, um, I don't think this is exactly a hamburger bun. This is a cute little home mat. I think so. It's not very cushiony. It doesn't have a whole lot of cushion in it, but it is cute. I don't need a mat, so I'm just looking. So I have extremely sensitive skin and I have to watch what type of soaps I use. But what I noticed about the Dollar Tree, they sell these um, Bolero brands. And Bolero brands are one of the soaps, the only soaps, um, like, that I could use from the Dollar Tree. A lot of the body washes make me itch, um, and after a while I have to stop using them. Um, but as far as soaps go, these Bolero soaps feel good on my skin, and they don't break me out, and they smell wonderful, just wonderful. This this smells wonderful, and this, I just love the scents that Bolero comes up with. They also have this um, hibiscus pink clay, but I already have some of these at home. I have the coconut rose one at home, and I also have this one. I haven't had this one, but I have some of those at home already, so I don't have to buy them. But if you have sensitive skin, um, you may want to think about trying these from the Dollar Tree because they work pretty well, and they're mouth so pure vegetable soap. I haven't seen these at the Dollar Tree before. Whole cheese crisp baked crackers. Let's look at the carbohydrates. Um, my phone won't focus, but it's 20 grams of carbs, which is too many carbs for me. So that's a no for me. So I'm done with my Dollar Tree walk around. I only got a handful of things. I try to eliminate most things from my basket before I get to the um, checkout counter. And I ended up only buying five things today. And uh, I'll show you what I got. I ended up getting this little bowl because I thought this would be the perfect size for a hamburger bun, um, a 90 second keto hamburger bun. And I got this one because it's the shape of bread and you can see that my uh, 90 second keto sliced bread would be in this shape. You know the 90 second keto bread is made in the microwave and it only takes 90 seconds to cook in the microwave. Really it takes about 10 minutes to make because you got to mix all the ingredients before but okay if they say it takes 90 minutes to make okay. Um. Also, I got another 
Well, I got two of these, two hot packs because I only have, uh, well, cold packs. I got um, one at home that they gave me at the doctor that I've been using, but I noticed if like that one gets warmed up, I have to put it back in the fridge and then take it back out. So in order to combat that, I got two of these so that I'll always have one chilling in the freezer when I'm ready for it. And... I got some sunscreen because I've been to the beach three times this summer and I plan to go as much as I can before it begins to get cool. I live in the south and the beach is readily available for me to go to. I love living cold, close to the beach. Um, so um, this is, I need some sunscreen. And that wraps it up for my Dollar Tree haul and my video for today. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.